Hi, in today's show you how to make a parametric box in Dynamo. And as you can see in the background, we are making here a, a, a box. And this box is not just by merely making four points and then we exit through that, but rather I'm going to show you a different techniques of adding the points rather than, than just giving an X and Y. It's basically depending on the existence of a width parameter and a depth parameter. And both are actually the one who controls, as you can see, the amount, uh, the real width and the real height and also uh, the depth of this object as you can see same way you can see in any 3d application like a 3d studio max or any other application so those are the ones who actually control the whole geometry and then i'm going to show you how to send that out of the dynamo environment to the conceptual mass of rivet so uh, let's do that uh, i'm going to start up by a new workspace and here i'm going to create I'm going to create three points, actually. And those points are just normal point by coordinates. So, uh, sorry, I need to create four points. That's the third and that's the fourth. And, of course, you can select all those and you can just uh, align them if you like. To the left or to the right to make it like if you, if you care really about the presentation of the work anyway so i'm gonna create and of course as long as you didn't specify any x or y all of them will be you know located on the on the x zero and y zero and z zero so that's the origin all of them here anyway i'm gonna add a slider and let's have an integer slider and i'm gonna rename that guy into x and in it i'm gonna reduce the amount of the maximum to 10 and each click or each change here into one select that guy and then copy paste it and then i'm gonna change that into a, a y accepting this <clears throat> so that's uh, that's it basically so now if you leave this point zero 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 that will be the first one the second one should be let's say here five maybe so i'm gonna write in x five and i will keep the z also to or sorry y also to five so i'm gonna give that to this five and now we can have sorry it's here so now we have the first point and that's my second point i'll leave those to the default value of zero so i'm not going to connect them uh, then this guy or this point which is again it's here so i'm going to push it in the x5 and then into the y5 so it's technically here now and the final one which is this one have a zero x and the five of y so it's here so that's the lovely thing i'm not going to give an x and y a, a totally different uh, double value or number here separated now i'm going to depend on the slider to control the whole thing so now let's flex this or test that so if i change this you can see now that's really the y value and you know that's uh, really uh, you know the x of it so now you can go ahead you know like uh, rename them again if you want or just keep them maybe you call that uh, length whatever you want to call it you know and that's the width you can keep it if you like x and y if you are happy with it or just call it depth whatever you feel uh, as your parametric object uh, goes or happy with you know like uh, that's just suit yourself by having the best way of naming now uh, i have four points now i need to create here of course i need to create a polygon by point so i'm gonna go create a polygon and uh, the ways that we have a polygon lots of ways and lots of methods and that's by the way careful with it that's the query one i, I need to create uh, this one the creation one so that's it and here you see that's a point it's in a plural condition so i can't connect this one any one of them so in this case i need to put them all in the list and by put that in a list you can change those into uh, a group of uh, or a list of the point which is allow us to you know first let me change that into four and then connect each one of them to make them points all as a list here now 
it's easy can be added to the to the polygon here and we can see that uh, we have our polygon generated in this occasion now there's lots of methods actually you can just translate that or copy that up and then create a loft or you can go ahead and just to create a curve extrude so i'm gonna go with extrude as you can see and in this case uh, I, I don't need to translate uh, the or copy the, the the profile that i just on the polygon just i create upward it's just going to depend on just extruding that in the in the z value so i think i made a here mistake in the spelling uh so that's my my extrude as long as it doesn't have any solid word so it's the surface so i don't want that so you can go ahead here by a direction and a direction and, uh, and a curve uh, i don't think so this guy yep this guy is better so that's it uh, i'm gonna go just connect this guy here as my curve and the direction is of course z so the default i'm not going to change it you can add a z value and that's it you need to, uh, just to create this one to copy this one here uh, probably just rename it into height accept that change and connect it here and congratulations you have you have your first parametric box that's the height length and width instead of just points that you don't know exactly and you don't want to change them individually that's those connecting the whole width parameter and the whole depth sorry the length parameter the depth parameter and the height as you can see uh, now again if you minimize this guy you are not seeing anything here in, in the conceptual mass so if you are happy with this it's okay if you don't you might need to you know create new sets of uh, uh, of uh, changes here to reflect that back in here one of the method uh, I, I might need I might need here to make a translate and uh, to translate that geometry uh, up so uh, <coughs> I'm gonna need a method to translate different than this one so probably let's go this so I'm gonna translate that profile that I created and into this one so let's see what we can do so uh, if you want just uh, you can just hide that so you can see that some i'm just gonna translate or just uh, copy that into this here and also i'm gonna use the height itself here so you can see that i just made a copy uh, of that upward and I didn't I didn't delete the box here it's just uh, I just hide it for a couple of seconds uh, now I just have this one which is the profile and this profile so again in order to get the to get the, the, the geometry solid creation work which is depend on a color condition of a group of circles a group of uh, rectangles here I might need to put a list it's a good trick to copy this guy and paste him and then I connect him like this. <clears throat> I need a list of two indexes. So I'm going to get this one first. And then I'm going to take this guy also as an index. Now you can go ahead and reflect that back here. So I'm going to use a model curve. And a model curve this time from a loop. So a model curve here from loop and this guy I'm gonna change those two lists here two shapes into a geometry here as you can see and uh, careful with this because you might be like that you might have very seen the whole planes if you zoom in you probably need to be patient to zoom in it's really small it's like a five millimeter so uh, don't give up you know like just uh, zoom in carefully and Patiently, you're gonna see that what you're doing. I think is that's a very small, small, tiny. If we compare it to the scale of the modeling of the entire building. Anyway, so that's the loops. Now uh, you might notice I didn't depend on exit route here by creating those two loops together. So I will go here for a, a loft or a solid loft. So what I'm gonna have? Yeah, it's my misspelling spelling there, as you can see. Uh, so loft again and i'm gonna go to here see rivet loft so and depending by the uh, cross sections 
which is this one. And again, just connect those. Again, see curves, floral conditions. So just connect that, and you're gonna find that uh, change or moved into the the conceptual mass. And as you can see here, if I drag that together, so that's your parametric box, your first parametric box. You can just reduce that size of it, or you can increase the depth, whatever you like, as you can see, and increase the height. You know, as you can see, if you don't like this value or maximize it, you can just jump in here and change that number. And otherwise, you're going to see, you know, like uh, you have your own uh, parametric box here made in uh, Dynamo and also reflect back that into the rivet. If you want to see it here, also just uh, right click here and activate the preview of that. And I wish that this uh, tutorial you find it useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.